Ballad of Apple Jack's last roundup. Fuck. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. And then you go back to the chain. I like the I like the tiny little details. I think one of my favorite things about video games is like tiny details. For example, you'll notice that in like something like Destiny, you know, um, Destiny, for example, I I personally really love the game. Um, like I love the physics of the game. I love the mechanics of the game. I love how the game plays. It's nice, but the story is the only thing that kills it for me. Because if the story would have been longer, the end game probably would have been a lot better. Because you know, House of Wolves and Dark Below were supposed to come with the game. They were supposed to come. Call me conspiracy theorist, but they were supposed to come with you know Destiny, a uh, base game. Uh, that being shown as how um oh nice um that being shown with like uh well a how little content there was and b um like they had some like there was some uh dark below and house of wolves content in the game that you could access before um you know like even in the alpha or something uh, like Rasputin, if you know what that is, like uh, the whole Rasputin's bunker thing. That was supposed to be accessible, like you know, it, it like if, like that would it would have been much better. Um, but aside from dissing the game, I love the tiniest little fucking details about the game. Like uh, Celestial Nighthawk, it's a new helmet from the House of Wolves. Um, basically, it's you know. If you're wearing it normally and you're walking around, you wouldn't be able to notice this. But if you're walking around and you uh, are just standing still, the eyes, they they don't glow. But if you aim down sights, they glow. And that's something me and a friend noticed just, just like messing around. We were messing around in Destiny. I had the helmet and I was aiming down sights and he looked at me and was like, are your eyes supposed to glow like that? And like... We just noticed that it was a tiny fucking thing, but it was really cool. Like, I don't know, um, as well as, like, another thing, the, um, I think the helmet is called the, uh, the Eternal Warrior. Basically, it's a hunt, uh, it's a titan helmet, and, um, like, for a male and a female character, it looks completely different. Like, the face, is, like, basically it represents a face, you know, it's a stone, um, it's a stone face, essentially, is what it is, and, uh, it, it's completely different, um, okay, it, it did the thing. Um, another thing, I'm trying to remember what else it was, uh, another tiny detail, um, Okay, and the thing I really love about the Golden Spork is the uh, one-hit capability. Oh god. Oh man. See, I'm just waiting until they stop spawning. I'm just waiting until I'm pretty much clear around this area. Um, but yeah, it's like a another thing that I didn't notice was the numbers. Uh, like uh, when you see a player's number or a player's level, like you'll see, hey, round or round fucking uh, somebody levels to 34. You know, the highest level in the game as of now, you know, 34. You look at their number, and if it's glowing, like it'll have like a glow, um, a gold glow around it. If it if that's glowing, that means that basically um, they have a super ready. They have a super ability ready. That's something I didn't notice, but it's so cool to me. Like something that tiny is so cool to me. Um, I don't know what it is. It's just the tiniest little details. You can see they put the effort into. 
Um, like they wanted the game to be much better. They put these tiny details in there just to show off like, hey, you know, we we basically get the game. Like there was another helmet or yeah, there's like another helmet that was uh, completely different um, or had a different sort of detail to it, you know, um, but I can't remember what it was. Um, I'm going to try to remember it, but I don't, I don't know if I can or not. Uh, but it, it just, it's pretty cool. Um, the tinier details, man, the tinier details. Um, because if you, if you think about it, these guys could literally, basically Destiny could have just been like, all the guns could have been literally the same looking. Like, they could have literally made every gun look the same. They've made most of the guns act the same, but that's mainly because, um, well, it's just easier just to give them the same stats and shit, but at least they make them look different, you know? As bad as that sounds, like, I could expect more out of it. Like, they could change the stats a tiny bit, um, but, you know, the stats for most guns are... If they're equally powerful, uh, like two, like, um, there are a few games, uh, guns in the game that are the same, you know, um, like many of the shotguns and stuff, they, they basically have the same stats and stuff because if one had a higher impact and another didn't, you know, it would, the one with a higher impact would be overpowered. Like, basically, for example, the Matador 64 and the Party Crasher. Both are the most overpowered shotguns in Destiny, aside from the Fell Winter's Lie, because the Fell Winter's Lie has a high uh, base impact and range. Impact and range are important for shotguns. Now, the Matador 64 and the Party Crasher, which I personally love because Party Crasher, come on, whenever somebody kills me with it, I can't be mad at them. Like, I can't, I'll get mad at them, but then I'll be like, oh, it's a Party Crasher, you know, get it, Party they crashed party yeah I, I think the pun doesn't need to be explained um but you know like uh, they're both pretty overpowered but they're not as strong as uh the fellow hunters lie but they can be reforged so that they are stronger than the fellow hunters lie with the range and impact being increased which i think i'm pretty sure i do have a build of that's stronger, which I tend to use in Crucible, and yeah, I know it's like pretty bad to use these guns in PvP, but it's like, if you can't beat them, join them. That's pretty much how it works for everything, I think, like, I don't know, I don't know, man. Oh man, you know what, actually, I might stream tomorrow. I, I, I'm thinking about it. During that swig of water, I was thinking about, um, let's see, what kills am I? I'm at 855. I'll leave when I hit 900. Uh, no, I'll, I'll leave, yeah, when I hit either 900 or 950, just to be safe. Um, but, yeah, like... I'll probably stream tomorrow, uh, because tomorrow, you know, Descent's coming out, I'll probably just stream on Twitch and have my, you know, my mic in, and I'll stream it through Xbox, but at the same time, I'll record it, so, you know, basically, if people, you know, if there are people who don't watch the stream or don't attend the stream, you know, um, basically to me it just it feels better than just you know um will this guy die it, it, it just seems better than just streaming or just you know uh uploading the video because it's like if if anything on uh twitch you know like i'll be able to interact with people and you know like it, to me i all in all it just feels way better um to stream on Twitch than it does to stream on, uh, or uh, to just upload. Um, so yeah, maybe I'll pick up a few viewers while I'm there. Maybe some people will come and watch. I'll have my link in the description. I'll, I'll try to remember it. Uh, it'll be in all parts of this video, because me streaming, that's going to be an entirely a new thing. Like, 
whenever I get the opportunity, if I'm, you know, solo, like, if I'm not playing with friends, I'll probably stream, because if I, if I play with friends, um, I can't really, if I stream with friends, rather, I can't really capture their voices, um, because of how the Xbox chat works, um, but if they ever do add an update to which I can display my friends, uh, through the stream, maybe I'll do that, and I'll stream a lot more often, um, but as of now, I'm not planning on it, um, yeah, so, if I'm just, uh, you know, if I'm playing a game or something, like, say I play, like, Payday or something, and I'm playing by myself, I'll probably, rec I'll probably stream that, same with, like, something like Elder Scrolls Online, which I, I seriously need to play more of, because it's so fun, I was streaming that last night, um, and I was having fun with it, and by last night, I mean, like, Saturday night, I was streaming it. Um, yeah, so, it was, it, it's pretty fun, I enjoy streaming, like, I personally find it more enjoyable, um, somewhat than recording, just because, you know, I have people that I can interact with, and, uh, people that I can always, you know, talk to, like, somebody can ask random questions, or, you know, tell me what they think, or how everything's running so far, you know, to me, it just, it works way better than, um, than, uh, you know, recording, because it's like, with recording, I have to talk and just come up with things, whereas, like, on stream, somebody would be like, what's your thoughts on butter? And I'll be like, ah, oh, this is what I think about butter. I prefer margarine, but, you know, butter is, you know, uh, honestly, butter is butter to me on, on that regra regard. Like, you know, margarine is butter, butter is butter. I don't care. Um, I prefer either one. Like, they're both pretty good. Like, to me, um, stick butter is, like, for margarine, or is not for margarine. Stick butter is, um, that's butter. Uh, to me, it fits better on popcorn, whereas, like, butter, uh, tub butter or margarine is, um, it's better on, like, toast and, uh, and whatever else you put. Like, to me, uh, the butter is normal butter is better for popcorn and if you're measuring it tub butter margarine is better if you're um just for like you know if you're just putting it on things like toast or uh I, why can't i think of good examples um or like if you're gonna butter up a pan or something like uh, my family, we butter up pans. I don't know if that's a natural thing, but we use margarine, put it around the pan, and it, it works fine. Um, so, that's pretty much my thought on that, which is, you know, like, if you, if you, um, yeah, like streams, you know, that's why I like streams, because I can get that interaction, and just sort of, like, people will tell me, uh, you know, or, hell, if they want me to play a specific game, like if I'm in the middle of playing something, you know, if they want me to play something and I have fun with it, I'll fucking play it, you know? Like, I have no issue um, with that. Although, necessarily, um, if people ask me to play, like, Black Ops 1 or 2 Zombies, I'm not going to be able to stream it because uh, I'm streaming with the Xbox One because as... Most of you should know my laptop is absolutely shitty and it's a miracle that I can actually record. Um, but, you know, I don't guess. 